What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Platinum Walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we defeated Fantina, the uh, Heart Home City Gym Leader, and now it is time for us to just move on. We're moving on right here, because we got no other business here. Trust me guys, I really have no other business here. I know that many of you guys wanted me to do the contests and all that stuff, but we'll think about it once we do the first contest back at Hoenn. You know, that kind of stuff, because I've already gotten asked the question, you know. And as you can see, look at that. Third badge. I actually thought it was our fourth badge. What made me think that? I don't even know. But, in our last episode two, Gaia number two finally evolved into a Curlia. And, like I mentioned earlier, um, Curlia, this Curlia right here, will be evolving into a Gallade rather than a uh, Gardevoir. Mainly because we can do that right here in Sinnoh. And, uh, let's see, what else, what else, what else? Yeah, the only thing is that I, now I'm going to have to monitor, or I'm going to have to prevent it from gaining too many levels at once. Because at level 30, it will evolve into Gardevoir. Now... Holy crap. This guy right here. Oh my god. So we're gonna have to battle this guy. We already know how much I hate this guy. We, we really do. We all know how much I hate this motherfucker right here. So here we go guys. Another battle against Barry. And uh, I'm gonna go with Toothless right here. Um, so like I, I mentioned before. Yeah, Curlier right here will be evolving into, into Garda or in Ga into Gallade. The only thing is, I, mean, I need to find myself a Neverstone to prevent it from evolving if I get to level 30 before I get that Dawnstone. So, if I can find that beforehand, then, you know, that'd be great. But back to the battle right here. Yes, Staravia is uh, being a dick right now, using that double team on me. Why would you do that? Come on, I am awesome. So here we go, Rock Tomb. Hopefully for the win. Let's go, Toothless. And uh, Toothless lowers its speed. But not its evasiveness, which, uh, you know, that's probably what uh, that's probably something that I would want to do right here. And uh, here comes that wing attack. Don't like it, not one bit. And, uh, well, here we go again. Dragon Rage. To take a lot more chunk out of uh, the Staravia. The Staravia. And nearly defeats this guy. And, uh, well, there's that wing attack. Ne nearly beats my Toothless. And uh, the victor right here, it is your undisputed shark champion, Toothless. The Gubble, or the Gubble, or the... Whatever you call it. I don't even know. I'm mispronouncing names. So here's, here comes a Buisel, so I'm going to switch it out to a Donatello because it's awesome like that. It is an awesome sauce kind of Pokemon. And uh, let's see. Buisel, you are nothing. Nothing. So let's go. Let's do this. Mega Drain. And uh, Quick Attack hits me. Trumps me first. So we go. Mega Drain. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. Suckle on the Mega Teats of the Mega Drain. Sounded weird, but it was whatever. So there we go, another Mega Drain, and uh, Barry withdrew Buisel and is coming out with his Roselia. So it's a good strategy right there. Not going to take a lot out of the Roselia right here. But I am going to beat you within an inch of your life. Not really, but, you know, I'm just going to beat you. I'm going to beat you down. Um, let's see. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's go with Staravia right here, because my Staravia is better than yours. And uh, here we go, Starblade, kicking butt, intimidating you. And, uh, well, there's that Sunspore. Of course, we're going to get uh, paralyzed every so, every so often right here. Ah, uh, paral paralysis. you got to love the paralysis. And there's that Leech Seed that we don't like, too. It's a good combo for a Grass-type Pokemon, but there's that Wing Attack. Wing Attack destroys you. Bye bye Roselia. Fatality. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And Starblade looking like a champ right here. And who is next? The Buisel coming out. So we're going to go back to Donatello, because he has unfinished businesses. And, uh... Well, let's see. Is there anything else that we need to do? Oh, I don't know. Probably kick some butt. Take names. That kind of stuff. Because that's what I do right here. That's what I do. And, uh... The Growl Attack, not gonna do much. But, I can do something else. I can do this. Mega Drain. Drain you of your energy. And, uh... Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Say goodbye. And, uh... Well, let's see... More experience points. Toothless grows to level 22, which is also great. And, uh, well, coming out with a Monferno. He finally evolved his Pokemon, which is cool. Kind of, you know, 
Kind of irritates me that it's not my Pokemon, because I love Monfo Monferno. But, you know, whatever. I got myself Hydra number four, which is also even better. Some might say that. And, uh, well, let's see, let's see, let's see. Here we go. Flame Wheel on us. Will that win? We shall see. No, it doesn't do much. And there we go with a Dragon Rage from Hydra number four himself. Doesn't take him out, but it still does nice damage. And uh, we're going to go again. And this guy is going with the Leer Attack. Seriously, you're about to finish me off. Or you have the chance to just inflict more damage. Why would you use something that lowers my stats? I don't get that. The AI is so confusing. Whatever. So there you go. Defeated him. And, uh, well, let's see. More experience points, and look at that. What are you telling me? I just lost? Yes, you did. You just lost, you a-hole. And, uh, yeah, you need to go away, man, because I, I really don't like you. you. You need to go away. We all know how much I hate him. He is so jumpy and hyperactive. Uh, it, just, it just bugs me. He bugs me a lot. And, uh, well, he is gone forever. Not forever, but he is gone. And, uh, now... It's time to move on right here because we got some business to do. A lot of business. We need to give a, we need to heal our Pokemon and then after that we yeah, we have a lot of stuff to take care of. Uh, there was something that I needed to do. Something. Something. Something real, real, real. Real something. Let's see. Um well, I'm healing my Pokemon. Oh yes. There might be No, actually there's nothing right here. We're actually going to be going to the next town, and yes, I did edit out the, the whole wild Pokemon battle. Uh, I'm actually going to be using a Repel, so... Yeah, that's... Yeah, that's a lot of the stuff right here. But up in this area, this route right here, you can also find Ralts in this area, too, if you guys uh, want a stronger Ralts and uh, want to take less time to actually uh, evolve it. And this guy right here will actually give you a good Rod, which will enable you to actually... Yeah... Yeah, which will enable you to capture some better uh, water type Pokemon right there. And uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, the twins are right there. Hmm. Okay, bring it. Just bring it. And uh, looks like we got a double type battle. Yes, a double battle right here. And uh, good gravy. Good gravy. Coming out with a Bonsley and a Mr. Mime Jr. Or a Mime Jr. And. Uh, well, these two Pokemon are, I guess, are pretty good. I don't know. Baby Pokemon. You gotta love the baby Pokemon. They're not that strong, but still, they can uh, pack a wall up with some way. Some kind of way. And, uh, well, let's see. Let's go with uh, Dragon Rage right here. And, uh, oh yeah. That is how you do it. And here we go again with another Dragon Rage. And that is how you do it again. Oh, yeah. And, uh, well, there's that rock throw, which we don't like. So, what we're going to do is Dragon Rage all over again, because we can. And, uh, hopefully this will actually defeat this guy. Hopefully. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. So, here we go. Dragon Rage again. And, uh, say goodbye to Bonsley. Oh, yeah. Bonsley's not feeling so good right now. I am feeling great. And that is how you defeat the twins. Oh, yeah. How does that feel? Feels so good. Okay. Alrighty, so next up right here, uh, let's see, we got ourselves a Hyper Potion, which is also good. And uh, there seems to be a Pikachu right there. Huh. And the Repel's well, effect wore off. And uh, let's see, we're just going to be switching up our Pokemon because we know better than to think it's an actual Pikachu. No, it's actually an actual person right there being a dick. So there we go. We're going to be battling up against... A kid who has a Pichu right here because he loves Pikachus himself. And, uh, well. Pichu using Nasty Plot. Like a, like a boss right here. And, uh, well, there we go. There we freaking go. And, uh, Mega Drain doesn't take all of it, but it still does something. And, uh, let's see, let's see. We're going to go with Razor Leaf, but it avoids the move, which is very, very annoying. And, uh, well, let's go right ahead and use that Quick Claw again. And here we go with the Razor Leaf that actually hits. 
Say goodbye to Pikachu, or Pichu, I should say. And, uh, alrighty, alrighty, we're feeling good, we're feeling great. Donatello grows another level right here, level 28. On route to becoming a level 30 Pokemon, which will eventually happen soon, but we defeat Danielle right here. Didn't even know that was a girl. Hmm. Alright, let's move on. So let's see, there's something special around here, I think. No, actually, there are a few berries right here that you can actually get, like Lepa Berries. And some other weird name berry, like Wakaki. Nope, Jester Berries. Hmm. What is the name of the berry that actually uh, heals up confusion? Because in the last episode, I kind of had a problem with that. Didn't have a berry that can actually do that. And, uh, oh, here we go. This person wants to battle us. And, yeah, she has permission to actually battle us, which is good. It's nice. It's nice. And, uh, alrighty. Bring it. Just bring it. Badoo taking on my Donatello. Donatello looking like a badass. Biting it because it's a little Sprout Pokemon right there. And uh, Sprout Pokemon nearly faints, but we're going to do this again. That's right. That is how you do it. That is how you do it. You bite them. You bite them quite a few times. That's right. And, uh... Alrighty. Let's go, let's go ahead and switch out to Starblade right here, because it's, this is looking more like a Starblade kind of battle right here. And, uh... Let's see. Cleffa. Bring... Just bring it, Cleffa. Just bring it. And there we go. Wing attack. Hopefully for the win. Come on, come on, come on. And there it is. That's how you defeat a Cleffa. Oh, yes. And, uh... Well, let's go right ahead and take on this Eevee yet again, and uh, let's go with the wing attack, and uh, I think I just got a doctor, or I think I got an Eevee, maybe, yes, I did get an Eevee, and uh, that Eevee is growing, or is using the growl attack, you know, at one point I actually thought of using Eevee, and then evolving it into a, uh, a Jolteon, which I could do, because you can get those stones early on after this route, but I thought, nah, you know what, I'll save that for later. I'll save that for way, way later, because I've always oh, I've always done uh, walkthroughs with an electric-type Pokemon. So, I decided to switch it up, you know? Change it up with different typings, see if you guys like them. You know, be diverse and all that stuff. And here we go, wing attack again. Mm-hmm. Bye bye Oh, yeah. And, uh... Oh, yeah. There we go. That's how you do it. That is how you defeat this lady right here. And, uh, well, let's see. Who is next right here? Talking to this? No, okay. So, as you can see, this place right here, you can put your odd keystone to actually find a Pokemon uh, worth finding. Uh, what was it called again? Spirit Tomb. Now, we will be going to the event that actually opens up Spirit Tomb. It actually involves the underground digging about 30 times, maybe? I don't know. You have to do that 30 times. Yeah, but we will be doing that eventually, capturing Spirit Tomb and all that stuff. I never really got to do that in uh, my old Pokemon Platinum walkthrough, but it will happen. And uh, let's see, I'm going to grab these, the raspberries. They're looking nice. They're looking yummy. And, well, moving on forward. And, yes, there was a wild Pokemon right there. Forgot about my repel. And uh, let's see, let's see. We need our bike for this one, and uh, no, there's no hidden items, and we're going to have to put it to the second setting right here, because it's not speeding up. So, here we go again. Nothing. Let's try it again. Nothing. Good God. I suck at this. No, nope, the repel <laughs> effect wore off, which we'll be using again, and here we found ourselves another calcium, which is also good, I guess, and uh, let's see. You know what? Got to use a repel, because I know that I... Yeah, don't want to mess with any of the Pokemon right here. And uh, there's somebody waiting for us right there. There's actually three or four people waiting for us. So let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Let's start off with Gaia number two this time. And uh, let's see what this cowgirl has to say. Say, honey, she called me honey. <laughs> she called me honey. Honey, honey, in the yummy. And she's coming out with her Ponyta. Probably should have came out with, uh, with Hydra number four. Probably. Who knows? We shall see. I don't know. Find out. So there we go. Flame wheel. And, uh... 
Oh, there we go. Confusion attack doesn't do much, so we're gonna have to switch up our Pokemon right here to Hydra number four. Yeah! Ponyta really messed us up, and uh, yeah, evolving into Curlia didn't really do much for us. Not just yet. Alright, so there's that Tail Whip. Doesn't do much. She does her whip, and there's no Nene right there. So here we go. Another Flame Wheel. And uh, that is a critical hit. So this Pokemon is hard hitting, but here we go. Mine is even more hard hitting. So let's see what this Stomp Attack does. Does it destroy me? No, it doesn't. Here we go. Bite Attack. Feel that burn. Eat it, Ponyta. Eat it. That's right. And uh, Toothless grows to level 23. Always nice to grow levels, right? Without doing anything. Alrighty, let's go ahead and heal our Pokemon. I think we should heal our Pokemon because, you know, we don't want to get messed up. We really don't. Not yet, not, not just yet. But there's the Lost Tower, which we will be getting to. This tree is hitting, is hiding something. So we're going to get that Pokeball. And uh, let's grab that. And look at that. We found ourselves the TM47 Steel Wing, which could be used for any kind of flying Pokemon. Just in case you were to battle like a steel or a rock type Pokemon, you know, that kind of stuff. And, uh, well, let's see. I'm gonna go with this combination right here. And bring it on. Oh, you're not supposed to intrude with my time with Sue. You wanna battle with me? Yada, yada, yada. Okay. Let's go. Bring it. Just bring it, sisters. And brother. And whoever you are. Alrighty. Starblade. And, uh,. Toothless, ready to kick some butt right here. And, uh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. We're kicking some butt. And, uh, alrighty. Let's go ahead and, uh, let's see. Combinations. Combinations. Of course, I'm going to use Dragon Rage just to beat this guy. And I'm going to go with that right there. And so we're going to go quick attack first. And that takes a nice chunk. And here we go with the Sonic Boom, which automatically takes 20. And that defense curl is not gonna have any, uh, yeah, it's not gonna have any chance against our dragon range right here because that automatically takes 40 HP. Look at that. And uh, okay, let's go again with another quick attack. Will that defeat Bunary? Yes, it does. Eat it, Bunary, or Bunary, or Bunary, or I don't even know how to pronounce his name. And there goes another Sonic Boon. Whatever, guy. Okay, there's that Dragon Rage, and Dragon Rage does its job. Look at that. And, uh, alrighty. Tai and Sue defeated so easily. Okay, alrighty. What now? Well, probably moving on to the next thing, which would probably be, let's see, Salacion Town. Okay, so here we are in Salacion Town, and before we move anywhere else, good God! Seriously? This guy's like the herpes. I swear to God. He's like the herpes. Mother Russia just brought him over here to, for me to deal with this guy. Seriously. And this guy's talking about defog. Oh, great. Whatever. I don't care. I don't like you, man. Anywho, stay tuned in the next episode. We're going to be exploring Lacey on Town. See you guys.